sitcom is like, who watches sitcoms? There's maybe a handful of them still on TV, right? And and I just thought with Judith Light and Alyssa and Tony and I, um, and Catherine back in the years when she was still alive, wouldn't it just wouldn't it be so cool to see us doing sort of maybe like a modern family style or even transparent style filming with like real stories and moments that's what i've always visioned and i think that that would get all of us back involved but i'm happy to see where this sitcom thing goes i'm happy to see where this idea goes um and i've been saying like I, i'm so focused on getting a career together again uh, that includes more than just comedy, you know, like I, a lot of people only know me for the comedy. Um, I want to show them that there's more to the story. I really want to get a bunch of stuff under my belt before the reboot happens so that I'm not just Jonathan Bauer again, you know, and and I really do want to have a lot of say in who he is now um, because that will make a big difference for me. You know, like I, I need to tell his story has got to be that he is successful, interesting, smart, married, maybe with kids, you know, all of that stuff has to be there. I'm not doing the sort of like dumb Jonathan thing again. Like that's not happening. Right. So. And is Jonathan gay? Oh, of course. I meant husband okay. married, you know, married. Okay. With I just, I, th I mean, that's what I thought. I just wanted to, you know, I mean, come on, you think <laughs> I'm going to do a who's the boss reboot and have Jonathan be straight. I mean, you know, I didn't think so, but you know, I mean, well, see, there you go. You already have that going for it. I mean, uh, I mean, I didn't think so, see. but you know, and you have, you're not upset at all about this whole Alyssa Tony thing, which I guess is really happening. It seems. I think it's happening. You yeah. know, there was a moment when I thought, oh God, how are you going to do that? And why, oh, why, why? Um, but the more, and you know, and at the time when I first heard about it, I wasn't getting back into the business at all. So I was like, uh, okay, well, this is like, I've been waiting for this for 30 years, but okay, let's see what happens. But now that I'm back in the business and sort of really trying to be an actor on my own right, I'm actually like, kind of, I'm really okay with it, especially if I can really pull off some terrific material before we get to it. So I love all that. And well, listen, maybe there's like, you know, a visit by Jonathan. I mean, it doesn't have to be all, you know, you could come visit for an episode. You know, yes. we have that. Yes. The ideas that they have, I, I am very open to. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but I, I like them. Uh, but yeah, they've we've already talked about what some of those scenarios would be. So and you excited. might be part of it in some yeah. respect. Yes, for sure. And this is my final question. Like, uh, just out of curiosity, are you interviewing? Like, you know, now you're back and not interviewing. Are you like auditioning, you know, for any straight roles? Like, are you open to anything or do you specifically want to? I'm just curious. I think uh, I'm open to anything. I just don't think anyone's going to hire me to play a straight character, uh, you know? And I've always said that, you know, I just, I just, since I was six years old, people have known I was gay. And so there's it just, I just don't know if there's something, I don't know if I'm, it just oozes out of my pores. And so I don't know if I would believe me as a straight character. Um, I have been auditioning for a few characters where their sexuality plays no part in the discussion or in, in the role or in the conversation. And so, you know, I can play that for sure because it just, you know, isn't important. But um, mostly I think it's it's that I've been auditioning for stuff that's gay or, or closeted. Um, something I did recently I really loved was that just nobody knows that about him. Um, which I can absolutely play. Um, so we'll see. I, I'm really excited for what's to come. I, I feel like there's some really good stuff on the horizon. I just don't know what it is yet. Uh, but I'm really positive about what's to come for sure. That's good that you're so excited. I mean, and these are literally my two final questions. Is that why you moved back to LA with your husband? Like, yes. did you weren't really, it really was like, did it all happen together? We booked Lifetime. I need to be in LA if this is serious yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. I just um, didn't know. I, at first I thought I could do it in Austin because everything is self-taped now. Like every single audition, at least for the first audition is self-taped because of COVID. They just moved into that realm. I think it's a lot easier for casting. They can see a whole bunch more people because you just send in your tape. They can go through them fast and see who works and who doesn't right as opposed to a whole day of auditions in the building with the producers is a whole thing um and i i could totally do that in austin and i was doing that in austin but there was a moment when i said you know 
in Austin, I can't be present. I can't go to premieres. I can't go to charity event. I just went to this wonderful event for, um, uh, for, uh, I saw it on your Quality. Instagram. Um, you know, and I went to this other event. I can't do any event in Austin. So that was pr probably the biggest impetus to move back here was to be able to get that stuff going. And I wanted to get here before this movie came out so that I could, you know, show up on KCAL news yesterday in person and do a little interview. Um, I think it, I think it's smart. And do you, this is my last question. I promise. Do you think, no, you're fine. I have, uh, I'm, I'm good. Do you think like, you know, you say you're not believable as like a straight, but like, do you, so, I mean, I could just think of, you know, straight, I mean, gay actors, like, do you think we'll ever get to that point of like we talked like, yes, we've come far Ryan Murphy and everything else, but where it's like, we have that, like, you know, the equivalent of like a Brad Pitt, George, like we're talking like hundred million dollar movies where it's like this actor is playing leading man straight. And we all know like a Matt Bomer, like you're gay, like, or yeah. I'm just thinking of him as like an example. I don't know who else I'd have to think for a second, but like, do you think we'll ever get there where it's a movie blockbuster, hundreds of millions of dollars is on the line. And you are now the same level of fame as Brad Pitt or Julia yeah. Roberts or whoever. And we all know you're gay. I think, I think it'll depend on the actor. Um, I think if that actor can, can really, you know, there's, you've got to have a level of testosterone in a way, right? It's like people can smell the testosterone. If we can truly believe that you've got straight guy energy and you're a really talented actor, I think we could get there. But I wonder if in the back of people's minds, it will, I don't know, it, it might even make the stories more interesting to know that this care, this actor is actually gay. You know, it, you're, you're never going to have the version. It, it's, it's just not pop. It's like watching any straight actor play a gay role in the very back of your mind, you know, he's straight and you're never not going to know that throughout the watching the entire movie. Right. And it makes the role more interesting and it certainly makes the actor uh, it more impressive that they made it really believable. Um, so I think so. Um, but it, you're never going to lose the concept that he's gay, just like you'll never lose the concept that a straight actor is playing a gay role. It's just never going to happen. You know, that's just not logical. Right. But right. I'm excited and, to see it. And like this season of like American Horror Story, not to bring it full circle, but you know, like Charlie Carver, you have these people that are truly gay where you're like, oh yeah. I mean, like you don't think about that, but then you're like, you are thinking about it and it's not yeah. a bad thing, right? Yeah, like, and it's not a bad thing. This. That's the goal. But I think, um, you know, I've always been on the fence about the straight actors playing gay roles moment. And at first I was, it, it wasn't as big of a thing. But now that I know that there are just so many talented actors, gay actors, LGBTQ plus IA actors out there, that the, the pool of options